Hello from Coimbra, Portugal. This is Sara once again, founder, manager and tour guide of GoWalks Portugal. If you have seen our previous video, you may know where I am. Yes, I am at Penedo da Saudade. This will be our departure point for virtual tour number two. In this virtual tour, I'm going to show you a least known area of Coimbra. This doesn't mean that it isn't an important and beautiful place. Actually, most travelers, when they come to my city Coimbra, they usually only end up visiting Campus 1 of University and completely miss the rest of the city. So, I am going to show you this area and I hope you get curious visiting it next time you come over here. And if you haven't come yet, put it in your travel bucket list so that you can see and experience a little bit more of what Coimbra really is. In this video, I'm going to show you beautiful architecture, a convent, the start of a pilgrimage route, tell you about a miracle, and we will end on a sweet note. So without further ado, let's go! I just arrived in front of the Convent of Carmelites, also known as Carmelo de Santa Teresa. This was founded in 1744 and later faced the extinction of religious orders in 1834. Despite that, the nuns were given a specific permit by Queen Maria II of Portugal to continue inhabiting here. And so they did until 1910, when monarchy ended and the Republic was installed. By then, the military occupied the building and the nuns got expelled. But in 1946, there was a change of events and the nuns were allowed to return. And so they still live here in this convent nowadays. The most well-known amongst them was Sister Lucia, one of the three little shepherds who claimed to have seen Virgin Mary in the apparitions of Fatima of 1917. Right behind me, there is a statue of Sister Lucia. She died in this convent in 2005 and is now buried in the sanctuary of Fatima. Coimbra has two pilgrimage routes. One is the well-known Camino de Santiago that starts in Lisbon, goes through Coimbra and finishes in Santiago de Compostela in Spain. The other is this route of the Carmelites that starts right here in front of the Carmelites convent as precisely 111 kilometers and finishes at the sanctuary of Fatima, which is one hour drive from here or if you're really into being a pilgrim, a few days walking. To get there, you'll just have to follow these blue signs that can be found on the floor or walls along the way. You will pass by forests, the picturesque countryside and even by Roman ruins such as those of Cunimbriga.
When you finally arrive to Fatima, there will be plenty of great hotels to stay, shops, restaurants and lots of religious events happening many times a day. Other than the sanctuary, there is also the village of the Three Little Shepherds with the house of Sister Lucia opened for visits. On our website, GoWalksPortugal.com, you can read about this theme and see pictures as we have a pilgrimage and religious devotion full day tour that covers these places. Very soon I'll take you there on a virtual tour. But if you happen to be around Portugal, I'll be more than happy to take you there personally. All this talk about pilgrimage and convents has probably opened your appetite, so this is the perfect timing to talk about conventual sweets. is a recipe from Carmelites of Tintugal, a village just a few kilometers away from Coimbra. It is said that nuns used egg whites to iron their clothes, leaving many egg yolks unused. Since nothing was wasted at the time, the nuns used them to bake these sweets. In Portugal there is a whole variety of sweets made up of puff pastry and egg yolks, and these made by the Carmelites are probably the most elaborate of all. These were so claimed that the professors and wealthy students of the University of Coimbra would travel to Tintugal to try them, then spreading the word about these delicacies across the country. Of course, you can find some interpretations of Pastel de Tintugal online and bake it at home. However, the original recipe is still a well-kept secret, which only a few people know. So to taste the real deal, you have to come here. Alright, and it's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because there will be many more virtual tours of Portugal coming up very soon. Tell all your friends about it and comment on the video down below because I always love to know your opinions about what I do. I will see you very soon. Bye!